Welcome. I'm glad everyone was able to join in today. Today's discussion, we'll, we'll, we will review the basics of PLC-based stepper motion and introduce the integrated stepper motion products available for PLC-based control systems. Our agenda today, before we discuss integrated products, we will review the basic components that make a traditional PLC stepper control solution. What's out there? Next, we will introduce the three types of integrated stepper products available for PLC control solutions. Applications. As you would expect, there are numerous ways to utilize stepper control in automation. We will list some of the more common places integrated stepper products have been implemented with success. AMCI's family of products. AMCI has been on the forefront of introducing PLC-based integrated stepper products. We will touch upon each one. We will close the presentation today with a question and answer session. There are three components in every PLC-based stepper system. Controller. The controller is the brains of the system. The controller generates the control signals used by the drive to produce motion. It regulates speed, distance, direction, and acceleration rate. In a traditional PLC system, the controller is typically a plug-in card or a remote I.O. interface. Some PLCs provide an onboard pulse train output, or PTO, for simple stepper control. Drive. The drive is essentially an amplifier. It receives commands from the controller and outputs current to the motor. The drive is designed to operate with a particular motor type. A drive can be either AC powered or DC powered. Motor. The motor provides motion. The motor consists of a rotor and stator. The stator contains the windings that are energized by the drive current. The flow of current results in a magnetic field which in turn rotates the shaft. When you have a PLC as part of your automation architecture, there are several benefits to having a PLC-based stepper control. It integrates seamlessly to the PLC controller. A PLC can be a significant investment. Take advantage of the power and flexibility of the, the PLC offers. A PLC-based stepper control uses the software you already have so there is no third-party software to learn or to purchase. The PLC's I.O. can be used as part of the control scheme, increasing your control options. It also provides a complete solution. There are no standalone interfaces or controllers. But there are some considerations when using a PLC-based stepper solution. Multi-access applications can consume significant rack space. And as you can imagine, cabling costs can add up. Standalone stepper controls limit PLC connectivity, and onboard pulse train outputs lack the sophistication of a plug-in PLC stepper module. An alternative to a traditional three-component system would be an integrated motion solution, efficiency without sacrificing performance. Integrated motion products use the PLC as the central control for the motion and combine two or more functions to simplify installation and save time and money. These integrated solutions can be a motor and drive combination, a stepper drive and stepper controller combination, or an all-in-one solution that combines all three, the motor, drive, and control. The first package is the integrated drive and motor. Cost sensitive and or high volume applications realize substantial benefits when stepper component integration. Combine the stepper and motor and drive simplifies the motion control design without reducing performance. Integrating the motor and drive will lower package costs guarantee component compatibility between the drive and the motor. They use industry standard motor frame sizes, typically NEMA 23 or NEMA 17. 
It eliminates the drive from the panel, saving panel space. They use standard PLC PTO output for control, whether module-based or onboard PTOs. Another popular integrated solution is the integrated drive and controller. The integrated motor drive control combines two of the components, eliminating cabling between the controller and the drive. Integrated drives have direct communication with the PLC through the built-in industrial network. It programs using the PLC software, so there's nothing new to learn. They use standard cabling. Because the integrated drive works with standard stepper motors, it's an excellent choice for upgrades and retrofits. The final product we will look at is the integrated all-in-one solution. This solution provides a compact all-in-one design for complete motion control. It eliminates cabling between the controller and drive and motor. It has direct communication with the PLC and is managed through the onboard industrial network. It programs using the PLC's software. Standard cabling and interface, M12 connectors for a more rugged connection in your industrial environment. They are available in standard motor sizes. The standard sizes mean they mount easily to gearboxes and linear slides, and it is by far the most efficient method to add sophisticated motion to your PLC-based system. And you will find that they are available for most industrial networks. As you can see, Ethernet IP, Profibus, and the Modbus family of networks are readily available. There are many applications that can take advantage of all the benefits integrated stepper products offer. Many are listed here. Material handling, conveying, lane diverters, pick and place, and rail guide adjustments for basic factory automation. For packaging applications, you will find stepper solutions on vertical and horizontal form fill and sealers, labelers, and many web feed applications. Steppers have a long and successful history in the semiconductor industry as well, most commonly used in the wafer transfer and positioning axes and on conveyors. And as you can imagine, there are many more applications that simple motion can take advantage of the integrated stepper products. Now that we've been introduced to the available integrated products, let's look at what AMCI has to offer. Our integrated drive and motor is available in a standard NEMA 23 frame size. We offer 130 or 240 ounce inch motors. They are powered with either 24 or 48 volts DC. The SMD uses standard PTO output for control, which makes it a great option for brick style PLCs. Our integrated drive and control is available in either AC or DC input voltage. The AC version has a peak current output of up to 8.4 amps, and the DC version has a peak current of up to 5.6 amps. Both integrated drives work with standard two-phase stepper motors and have programmable inputs for additional functionality, such as registration, electronic gearing, and homing. All of our SMD23Es operate at 24 to 48 volts DC input voltage, and is available with up to 350 ounce inches of torque. Encoder feedback is built into the compact package, which makes it great for applications that you want to have uh, move verification. M12 connectors are optional, providing IP50 or IP67 protection ratings. The standard NEMA 23 mounting makes the SMD23E a great choice for applications that need a gearbox or need to integrate into a linear slide. So why choose AMCI products? AMCI products are designed with the PLC as the heart of the solution. We have a long history designing PLC-based stepper controls, so our programming is developed with PLC ladder logic in mind. 
The data structure is similar amongst all controller products, whether you're programming an AC-powered or DC-powered integrated drive or the SMD23E. The programming is the same throughout the product family. No third-party programming language. This saves both time and money by eliminating the need to learn another program or to the need to purchase another programmer interface. Engineered and manufactured by AMCI. No outsourcing of production or engineering. Our products are designed and manufactured in our Connecticut facility. We have complete control of quality and delivery. Tech support and application support use factory personnel. Our support is never outsourced and is available 24-7. Thank you for participating today.